gonna wait at least two minutes here, or maybe less, just to wait if anybody feels led to get onto this live with me. If not, and you're watching this live after this live is over, I just want to say God bless you. God is faithful. God is good. Keep the hope. Remember that God has never lost a battle. Praise God for everything that he has done for us. Praise God for everything that he will continue to do for us. We got to remain faithful. We got to remain in him. So thank you, Abba Father, for this Sabbath today. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father God, be a hedge of protection over us all in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, help us, Lord, to keep on the full armor of God. Praise Jesus. Ephesians chapter 6, saints of God. So I'm going to wait a minute or two. Um, I'm about to go run a quick errand, but I just felt led to get on here. Sisters in the Lord, I've just been feeling it really strongly in my spirit, like really, really strong. Like the blessings and the favor, like the supernatural favor, the supernatural blessings. So be expected, be expected to receive some supernatural things from God. Okay, so this is your confirmation this is your warning ahead of time. Praise God, because God always sends out a warning, you know, before he does things. OK, good and bad. OK, um, praise God. God is in control of absolutely everything. Hallelujah. Everything is working out the way that um, he wants it to wait to work out for us, because God has nothing but good thoughts for us. God has nothing but good plans for us, even those who walk in dis disobedience, even those who have still have chosen to reject him, who have not fully repented. God has good thoughts towards everybody. He is love and he wants everybody to make it. He wants every single person to make it. It's never God's desire ever that anybody will fail, that anybody would not receive the crown of life. That's not ever in his thought process, he has nothing but good thoughts towards us. So praise God for that. God wants everybody to make it. But people are going to have to want God. People are going to have to really want him and lay down the pride and submit to the Father. And the Father is good. Everything is everything about God is good. And it's hard because I was listening to the sister the other day. And she was confirming some things I was feeling in my spirit. I'm pretty sure you guys as well. It's hard for most people to submit to God. It's hard. They don't want to do the work. They don't want to do what it takes. Not, I'm not saying like our work save us. No, but they don't want to do what it takes to walk in obedience towards Father because of because of sin. And pride is like the biggest the biggest thing that's holding most people back. You know, even the Bible says, "Broad is the way that leads to life. Narrow is the way um, that." leads uh, I'm sorry broad is the way that leads to destruction so the road to destruction is this huge broad road there are many people on that road but the the road that leads to life only a few will find it only a few will find it you know so it's a broad road to destruction it's a broad road and I was listening to this sister and I was just like wow it really hit me in that moment to get more revelation about that and it was true that you know, the thing she was saying, why a lot of people, you know, God was giving her some knowledge on why it's so hard for people to want to even submit to God. Because you, we have to submit ourselves to the Lord. I forget what Bible verse that is. I've been looking at that Bible verse. And I remember it one day because I love to, to memorize scripture. I've been learning to do that. I remember when I first started memorizing scripture or reading the Bible period. I thought, how do people memorize scripture? I, I used to think it was so impossible. But, you know, it's it's very possible. But, um, yeah, the Bible says submit ourselves, submit yourselves to God. Resist the devil and he will flee. But it says in that verse how we should submit ourselves to God first. Then we can resist the devil and he will flee. Because we cannot resist the devil if we don't have God, if we don't submit ourselves to God. And some people feel like, especially in this generation, they feel like submitting myself to God. Why would I want to do that? I want to be my own God. I want to do what I want to do. See, that's the mindset of Satan. You know, the Bible talks about children of light and children of darkness. Either you're with God or you're against God. There's no in-between. 
Oh, Jesus, help me, Father God. I'm just being led by God's spirit. So if I pause here and there, just bear with me, saints. God bless each and every one of you. I just felt led here to just to encourage the body of Christ, those who are, who are chosen by God, those who are really abiding in Christ Jesus. You guys have been hearing about this wealth transfer that is going to happen within the body of Christ. It's already happened. God has already proved it. Because things happen in the spirit first, because before it comes into the natural, God has already approved it. He already told me to put that word out, that message out to encourage the body of Christ. The wealth transfer has already been approved, but God is getting us ready. God is getting me ready. God is getting you ready to receive what he has for us because we got to be in good standing. We got to be in the right mindset. We're going to have to have a better heart because God looks at our heart and he's changing our heart. He's helping us. He's helping us now to receive what he has for us because we're going to have to, these major blessings, these supernatural things are going to happen, these supernatural experiences that are about to take place. And I'm prophesying this over the body of Christ, yes, because God desires for the body of Christ to prophesy. So, Father God, I pray that the body of Christ, we will increase in prophecy, Father God. You say you desire for the church to prophesy, yes. So I'm prophesying over the church right now, over the body of Christ right now. Those who are truly walking with the Lord, God is about to do something really big. He's about to do something really big. It's already started. Many of us have already been experiencing things that should not really be going down. You know, we're experiencing things that we consider abnormal, you know, but it's God's favor. It's his protection. And this is part of the wealth transfer. Okay, God is raining down so much wealth over his chosen ones. It's it's happening. It's already been done. God has already approved it. And so right now he's building us up to receive what he has for us, what he fully has for us, because we're going to have to be ready for it. You know, he's getting us ready. He's getting us prepared because it's so easy to walk away from God. When God takes you to the highest, when God takes you to a high place and he, he lifts you up just like Joseph. Remember when Joseph was he was brought down low. He remained faithful. He stood with God. He walked with God. He, re he remained obedient. He didn't fall for the trap of fornication and adultery. Okay? God gave him the dream interpretations. When the Pharaoh wanted the dream interpretation, he said, okay, I will go to the Father because God is the one who holds the key to interpretation. If the Pharaoh wants interpretation, let me go to the one who can only give the interpretation, and that is God. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he remained faithful. I look at the story of Joseph. When I go through really hard times, I think about Joseph and how he remained faithful, how he didn't give up, how he remained, he stood firm in his faith. And see how God rose him up at the right time? Two years in isolation in that prison. But God blessed the prison. Um, God gave the um, Joseph favor in the prison. The whole prison was blessed because of the favor that was on Joseph. So hallelujah, praise God. Then God rose him up. Then God rose him up to be governor of Egypt. Okay, so God is getting us ready. He's preparing us. Hallelujah. God is preparing us to receive what he has for us. He's taking us higher. And so he's making, he's getting us ready, which is a good thing. We all need to go through the fire. Every chosen one has to go through the fire. We have been called out of the darkness into his marvelous light. Okay, we are called to tell the truth, the belt of truth. God has been highlighting that in my spirit. God's chosen ones, please remember that. Think about the full armor of God. It's important that we have on the full armor, but God has been really highlighting to me the belt of truth because we see this generation declining. It's going deeper in darkness. It's like the truth is way up there, but the, they're just falling further and further and further away from the truth. And people eventually will be handed over to a debased mind. Isn't that so bad? God said eventually he will give people over to what they want because God is not forcing anything. God is not forcing us to love him. God is not forcing nobody to become a Christian. God is not forcing nobody to do the right thing, but he will make a way of an escape. He will provide. Yes, we can look back over our lives. Hallelujah. I know I can hundreds and hundreds of times where I put myself in a bad situation because of pride, because of the pride of life, because of the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes, right? I put myself in bad situations. Situations, or the enemy calls people to do things to me, okay, because we're in a spiritual war, right? And so it's not the people, it's the spirits that are operating in people, okay?
like number one, the spirit of rejection. And then I'm learning too, sometimes that rejection, it was God. It, that Sometimes that rejection was God for our protection. That, that rejection was for our protection. Thank you, Father. Thank you for God. Because he knew the bigger picture. He knew that that person was really not in our corner. That person was really a snake. That person was really a wolf in sheep's clothing. So praise God. Praise God. He's getting us ready, saints of God. I know many of you have been feeling this. Those who are, I'm talking about those who are really, truly walking in the Lord. God has brought you through a long wilderness season. Maybe your wilderness season has ended, you know. Uh, we're all in different stages, you know. Maybe you're in a, a time of isolation like Joseph. Like Joseph, that specifically that time of him being in prison for two years, he was falsely accused of rape and he remained faithful. He remained faithful. We got to remain faithful in God. We got to trust God. Can you imagine, you know, lately I've been thinking about how Joseph felt in each circumstance because he went to different levels of isolation. It started when his brothers plotted against him and they told, I mean, they put him in that pit and then he was sold to the, to those, um, to those men into slavery. Can you imagine what was going in Joseph's mind? Like, how is this even happening? These are my own brothers. Just the fact that they wanted to kill him. And then the fact that they sold him in, into slavery because he was a free man. He was a, he was not supposed to be a slave. You know, he was a free man. And the fact that, he, you know, he's, he's witnessing this. It's happening right before his eyes. He was sold out by his own brothers, his own brothers. His own brothers, and many of us can relate to that. Many, many of us can relate to that. But we have kept the faith. We have continued to walk in forgiveness. And it wasn't always easy. It wasn't always easy. The devil was always in our ear trying to convince us, you know what? You know, what they did to you, let's, you know, you're never going to be happy anymore. You're going to stop smiling. You're going to do all these things. You know, the enemy tried to convince me one time to, you know, you're no longer going to be a happy person. From now on, since everybody did all these things to you, you're going to be bitter from this point. And the enemy, the enemy almost convinced me at one time to, 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 to take that demonic deal, to take that demonic deal. And I was just, I had to resist the devil. The enemy was this close to trying to, trying to, that's a demonic seed to make me, that's crazy. That is so crazy. I will never forget that time where the enemy was trying to convince me, you've been hurt, people have been using you, so for now on, you're never going to smile, you're never going to do, you know, you're going to be a bitter person for now on, what if I would have took that deal, what if I would have said, okay, you know, yeah, I've been wronged, God's going to understand, because that's what the enemy um, tried to convince me numerous times on numerous things, but praise God, that's why we got to resist the devil, that's why we have to resist the devil, and that was years ago, I wasn't even really born again around that time, lukewarm but isn't that something how the enemy will he he sets traps he sets snares you know all he can do is lie but i know what god has told me what he's about to do and he's going to do it for everybody whatever god has told you that he's going to do he's going to do it god is going to come through but it's going to be at the right time he's teaching us patience he's teaching us to endure he's teaching us to be content on the things we have. He's teaching us to, to walk in forgiveness. He's teaching us to walk um, in love and grace towards others, no matter what people have done to us. He's teaching us to um, learn different life skills as well. There's so many things that we need to learn. We need to learn about spiritual warfare because God does not want us to be ignorant of Satan's devices. God does not want the enemy to have an advantage over us. We're learning all different types of life skills. Many Christians are going to be going to uh, move into different states, buying property. He's going to teach us how to do a lot of things. Even with just the simple thing of cooking, there's a lot of of the, us that need to learn how to cook because we relied on fast food for so many years and the world's going to be changing the world is not going back the world didn't even go back to where it was before 2020 and the world will never go back to that and things are getting darker but the body of christ is rising and god has special favor for us god has special rewards for us for those who have been faithful and really drawn towards him and really been walking in obedience. Have we been perfect? No. Have we been doing everything right? No, but there's no condemnation in those who are in Christ Jesus. I'm talking about those who are truly born again, really walking in love because love is patient. Love is kind. Love doesn't tear down people. 
Love doesn't tear down people. God is love. And we have to walk in love. The Bible says we got to walk in peace towards everybody, towards everybody. Our neighbor doesn't matter. But God is doing something big. So you're going to experience a lot of supernatural things leading up to the bigger things that God is about to pour out. Because there's there's some bigger things coming. But you're going to see little hints here and there. And it's already started in my walk. And I was sharing that the other day when we were at the DMV with my son. And yay, he passed. He got his driver's license. And... God gave a supernatural favor at the DMV. I shared that because that DMV worker didn't have to do what he had to do. But I knew a few minutes into him talking to us, I was like, wow, God has given us favor. And then my son, he realized it too. And I was like, you know what that, what happened back there usually does not happen. That's rare. That was God giving Daniel favor to help Daniel pass the exam and make him feel more confident. He's like, you're going to pass this test today. You about to get your license. So... Um, thank you so much for those who prayed because I did reach out for prayer for Daniel because the first time he fell, he went ballistic, but, uh, praise God. So thank God for another day. I just want to encourage the body of Christ, God's chosen ones, expect some supernatural things to happen in your life. This is your confirmation. This is really a warning too, because God does send out warnings before he, he does things. Okay. And this is a good one. This is a good one. So remain faithful. Don't give up. It don't matter what the enemy says. It doesn't matter what anybody says. You know, remember, this is a spiritual war. This is not a war against flesh and blood. You know, so we got to keep on loving people, keep on praying for people. We never want to take vengeance We because uh, God will vindicate. Um, God says never uh, repay evil with evil. We don't have to come into agreement with any lies from the enemy, even in our dreams, because Satan does attack in dreams. Not every dream sign or wonder is from God. So we have to have discernment. We need to test the spirits. We need to ask God about everything. I'm learning to do better with that. Are we always perfect with that? No, but the Holy Spirit is with us and helping us. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is here with us. The Holy Spirit is helping us, you know, so we just got to be more sensitive to the Holy Spirit. That's the one thing that I've been learning to do more. Praise God. God has really been helping me. That's He's been telling me to encourage the body of Christ that are all connected here to really trust the Holy Spirit. Be more sensitive to the Holy Spirit and what the Holy Spirit is doing. Yes, so praise God. Oh, Jesus. God bless everybody on this live. God bless each and every one of you. Keep the faith. We got to keep the faith. We have to keep the faith. Praise God. We have to keep the faith. God is good. Yes, Lord. We have to keep the faith. We have to keep the faith. Hallelujah. We have to keep the faith. Praise God. So God has made me an encourager. And so I, I have to be obedient to this call to encourage the body of Christ. And whew, thank you so much for your prayers. Those who have truly been praying and those who have just really been standing in the gap and interceding. God wants us to continue to stand in the gap, to continue to intercede and keep the faith. Because without faith, it's impossible to please God. And remember, faith as small as the mustard seed can move mountains. You know, so get ready, stay ready and be ready. Um, just ready for God in everything. Cause God, um, remember the story of the five wise virgins. We got to stay ready all the time. We don't want to be the ones that go out, the foolish ones that go out and try to get more oil in the world. We need to stay connected to God, no matter what happens. God has been showing me that. Oh, thank you, God. We have to stay connected, you know, and I've been hearing that I've been getting confirmation in regards to that. Those who are not truly staying connected to the source, which is God, like really walking in the spirit with God, really um, walking with the Holy Spirit, like just the spirit of God. We got to stay connected to God. We have to. We got to remain in him. We got to abide in him. OK, because the things that are about to come upon this generation, a lot of people are not going to make it. And I'm talking about those who consider themselves Christian, those in the church, because it's just, it's so many layers to that, but we really got to stick with God no matter what. We have to, no matter who falls away, no matter what happens, no matter what the enemy is saying, the enemy is always going to be running his mouth. The enemy is always going to be telling lies. The enemy is always going to try to find 
some type of way. And so I just pray to God that we will all just remain faithful. Father God, if my brothers and sisters are dealing with any strongholds in their life, Father God, I pray that you would help them, Father God. You have come to set the captives free, God. You you want us to be free people, not people that are enslaved to sin because um, being a slave to sin is bondage, Father God. We all have been, we all were slaves to sin before we were truly born again. And now that you have created a new heart in us, Father, you have given, given us your Holy Spirit, Father God, your Holy Spirit. Thank you, God. Even um, we didn't even deserve it. Nobody deserves your goodness, Father God. You don't owe us anything, Father God. We thank you for those times that we shouldn't even be here, Father God. But you always made a way out, Father God. You always made a way. Even when we were children of disobedience, Father God, you made a way of an escape, Father God. Hallelujah. We thank you for your love, your mercy. We thank you for the supernatural favor and protection and gifts and wealth that is coming to the body of Christ. It's already here. It already has arrived. You already have approved it. God, help us to walk in faith towards you. Help us to walk as one body with one faith and one baptism towards you, Father God. We all have different gifts. Help us not to compare ourselves to one another as brothers and sisters in the faith. God, we all have different gifts, but they come from you, Father God. God, you are calling the saints to come together in unity and walk in love. Hallelujah. So the world can see the light of Christ because at the end of the day, it's about Jesus. Does the world see Jesus um, inside of us, Father God? Yes. Help us to continue to shine bright. God, the body of Christ is shining so bright right now, and we're going to get even more brighter and more brighter and more brighter as you take us to new levels father god help us to trust your plan yes god the enemy comes in like a flood but we're gonna trust your plan no matter what you know what's best you know the bigger picture you know all things we thank you for protection us uh for protecting us from harm thank you for protecting us protecting us for the evil one and his plans thank you father god help us all to continue to pray for our enemies love our enemies to do good to those who persecute us as your word says never take vengeance god because you are bringing vindication hallelujah praise god yes i pray that we in forgiveness and love and mercy and grace father god just like jesus father god help us father help us father hallelujah help us to not just read your word but be doers of your word father god to live your word faith without works is dead god so help us to live out the word because at the end of the day it's about people souls father god it's about people souls father god help us father bless everybody that's connected to this channel bless everybody that may come across this video sometimes time today, Father God. It could be a year from now, Father God. Bless every single brother and sister in Christ and every single nation and every state, Father God. Help us to remain fa- to remain strong in you, Father God. You are a foundation, Father God. God, help us. We shall not be moved in the name of Jesus. We will stand firm in the name of Jesus. And we rebuke the enemy and all his lies, schemes, and tactics. Father God, help us to remember this is a war in the spirit and we need to war in the spirit. We need to keep on the full armor of God mentioned in Ephesians chapter six. Help us to grow in prayer and fasting. Yes. Yes, God. You said because because some do not come out. Some demons do not come out, but by prayer and fasting, God help us when you call us to fast, especially myself, Father God, forgive me when I have not been obedient to the call, but God, you are just and faithful when we come to you and confess our sins to you. So forgive us, Father God, for those who have been struggling with fasting. God help us. We are, we don't live in condemnation, Father God, those who are in Christ Jesus. So help us, God, when we are not obedient and when we fall into sin, that we quickly recognize it, God, because we have your Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is going to quickly help us to recognize what is wrong. And then we can come to you. We can confess and move on and move forward. Okay. Thank you, Father God. We thank you, God, for your love. We thank you for the blessings, Father God. Help us to be ready to receive what you have for us. There are bigger things coming upon the body of Christ. We need to praise him now. Celebrate now, saints of God. God is doing some amazing things, some supernatural things upon the body of Christ. It's not just the money. The money is great and wonderful. We're going to be able to do things because of money. It takes money to build businesses and homes and buy property and cars. It takes money. Hallelujah. But God is building us up in our strength. God is building our faith up. God is making us whole and healthy in our hearts and our mind. He's delivering us from low self-esteem and and, um, God is delivering us from so many things. Hallelujah. God is making our, uh, um, God is allowing our gifts to be stirred up and increase in our gifts, increase in discernment. Hallelujah. Increase in faith. 
faith, increase in all the gifts that he has given us. So hallelujah. God is taking us to new levels. Hallelujah. It's by his spirit. It is by his power and it's by his might. And there's nothing that the devil can do. There's nothing that demons can do to stop God's children. Satan is really afraid of us. He really is because he knows there's power when the body of Christ truly walks by the spirit of God and really truly come together and rise up in faith. He knows that we can destroy demons. God has given us power and authority to trample over snakes and scorpions. Yes, he has. He has given us authority. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I rebuke any demonic attack, any witchcraft, any spell, anything from the demonic kingdom that's trying to attack you right now, that's trying to attack me, this video, our children. Hallelujah. God, help us. We rebuke it, Father. Continue to camp your angels around us, Father God. Yes, God, continue to protect each and every one of us. And Father God, I pray when we sleep, we will have your favor and protection. Help us to pray before we go to bed and help us to pray when you cause us to wake up early in the morning. Yes, Father God, I bless you for this day. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And God bless each and every one of you, saints of God. I'm going to go. God bless you. Hallelujah. Keep the faith. Let me know how I can pray for you. You can leave your prayer request in the comment section. Hallelujah. Praise God. Love you all. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. God bless you.